What's up, everybody? Um, just doing a kind of little update. Made a couple, made a one purchase, and um, it's more in the works. So, as you can see, still got snow, but I had major flooding. You really can't see it much on the video, but there's probably 20 or so logs that are scattered throughout there. So I got that to clean up. Um, and then I'm also looking for tin to put on that door right there. And on the tractor side of things, um, I did contact the my local Alice guy. He collects, has his own warehouse of Alice parts. Um, I got a hold of him. He said I probably won't need to split the transmission. He said it's probably something either in the forks or there's some play in something. He knows how to free up a lot of that. Or He had said on the detent rail, he pulls it out and he welds it and then regrinds it and puts a new detent a 16th further so when it kicks in it will actually go a little bit further giving you that extra clearance because i may have an issue where one time say this is my gear it's sitting here and then if it moves you know just a 30 a 16th back there's some slop in it so if it moves back it may not in if it's forward it works so that should clear that up um as you can see I got a gate this it was like this week from Trash Supply. Um, I just want Trash Supply, pretty simple. Fleet Farm will not give me a uh, tax write off. So, and Trash Supply is all I need to do is go in. Fleet Farm, they're asking for my tax papers, and I have nothing to show so far. So, this is a county line. Um, I think it's Bailing Country or something. Heavy duty gate, we'll see how it holds up. It's eight foot. Uh, kind of spendy, but I was looking online for eight footers and a heavy duty one where I need something heavy duty here because I plan on, if I have to work cattle, the vet's gonna come in here and he's gonna put a chute there and I'll just run them from inside and around here. And I need something, they're gonna hit this gate. If I get one of those light utility gates, this will be bent. And that's all I found online was they either were bent here or that was all bent up or missing. They were just beat up. So I figured I would might as well just spend the money, do it right the first time. And now I just have folks on that. I think I, I don't know if I ever gave a update on how I was going to do the fencing. I will put the charger in here, um, run a hot wire on the backside, come in here, and then I'm going to go up and over. And like Brad had said, I'm probably going to get, there'll be three on here. And the middle one will be hot, those conductive ones. But I'm going to make it a uh, handle so that way if I need to disconnect, I can. Or like he had said during the winter, I can unhook both gates and then I'm going to order some non-conductive ones for hooking on that end. And that should clear that up. Um, and then during the winter, I can take them both off. They won't ever see the or see the snow. So that should keep those good. Next, um, I haven't really done a pasture. Kind of to show you guys what the front part was like. But I originally had it going back around behind the house there. And I'm actually, because... I was talking with a couple guys, and Brad, you were one of them. Um, if I was to go to South Place, someone else is going to want to buy it. And if I have permanent fencing, I'm putting a post in at every corner. And some of these I might, I'm going to try figuring out if I should put in two or kind of round it off more. Because it would be easier for mowing along. But I plan on running, you see those there, going back to that tree, and then I'll just... I won't have that part because it would be nice to have still some yard because I do plan on living here for four to five years at least. And I do want some yard for just everyday things. So I have that to do. Um, and then I don't know for the first year I may because this is this grass here is going to is not going to want to kick up as good. So I may end up putting a line in from there to that post just simply keep it as a divider and that I may use some high tensile for so um, after that I don't know 
What else? I saw I did get, I want to thank John Stevens for the shout out and for the help that he's given me for the past. I did call him a couple times and I'll end the shout out. That was a wonderful, I did gain some subscribers. So welcome new subscribers and stick along for the journey because it's just beginning. Um, I did figure out, I don't know if you guys have this in your state, but Iowa has, it's called Beacon. And you can go online, search your county, look up whatever you want, click on that parcel, and it will show who owns it, where they live. So I figured out I'm going to, since they live, the one lives about an hour away, and the other one lives up northwest of me about two hours. So I am going to uh, mail them a letter. I talked with a couple of buddies, and that's how they do it. That's how they had suggested to find these guys. And I plan on writing them a letter explaining everything, what's going on, and see if they get back to me. Um, and then that would put me, if I can get those, that would put me up in the 12, let's see there's five. Yeah, that would put me up at least, I may be pushing 20 acres possibly. I don't know for sure what that one guy has for waterways, but, and that would go on. I don't know if, like I said, I forget what I say in my last videos, but that would go on my hay sales and I can start making hay because I plan on with this being four and feeding during the summer too uh, because I will keep them out on a lot. This will probably be for 10. I'll keep them on the wooded lot for probably 15 or so and then this will be a 10. The wooded lot may be more. So that should give me 35 days for a rotation. So that should give the grass enough time to kick back and kind of regrow. So I plan on feeding them and then probably half my hay because um, I am selling probably 60 or so bales this year. And that is what we'll be paying. Kind of that's why a lot of this hasn't kicked off further. It's because I was talking to a guy and he was debating how many bales he wanted to buy. And I was going to use that money to get all this set up. And oh, on the trash supply deal, I was looking for high tinsel and they have online a 4,000 foot roll, same gauge for a hundred bucks or 90 bucks. In store, they have a thousand foot roll, same price. So I, I asked them about that and they seemed to have no clue, but I, I think I talked to the wrong person. So I plan on calling them and reordering that, but yeah, that's kind of why this is on hold. Um, might as well show you guys the back side, or I haven't really ever shown the north side of the property kind of what it's like, because on this north side here, like I said, it puts out really good grass. During the summer, it's totally shaded, and I can get grass to grow up to my chest. And as you can see, this, you can see out that way, but this actually was uh, flooded and it was from there. And I had it probably, corner of the shed, and the middle here is probably three to four feet deep. So I had quite a, I had quite the waterway, but it did wash a lot of stuff out, kind of made it more accessible. But I'll continue over here. And if anyone knows, I'm trying to get some grass to grow. If you guys can post some suggestions, I just go in there and kind of with a hand spreader because a lot of these are dying off and I would like to get them. So that way there's some sunlight. I can get some more grass growing there because right now it's kind of junk land. I'd like the cows to destroy it, but. Oh, and this is, this is kind of the divide. This will be where I have my one fence coming, coming up through there. That's probably going to be next year where I do that. But, and then I have a plan for next year too. Um, I've debated, I've went back and forth, and I'm probably going to go away from Holsteins next year. I'm just probably looking in May here, probably would be right around Easter, probably the week after Easter. I plan on buying three to four Holsteins, 
and they should all raise them up. And whatever I sell them for, I will keep my money and probably buy. We'll see what the beef mark is at, but I plan on buying some maybe 600 pounders, 500 pounders if I'm lucky, and raising them up, same deal, to 900. I might, we were doing the numbers, and like I said with my buddy who, he's finished out, and he also does his cow-calf operation, which is what I've been helping with. But he does, he did some numbers for me, and his numbers actually came up better, which I kind of thought were once you get them past that certain weight, they're not going to gain nearly as much. So I probably will f raise some from 500 pounds or so, 550 to maybe a thousand pounds and sell them off. Same deal, I'd get them in the spring, sell them in the fall, and we'd be done with that. So next year, or I may finish them out if, if I see that fit. If I can find some people that want beef, I may end up finishing them out. But, so it's just gonna take a lot of work because I have to, like I said, I'm going to go to high tensile and I'm going to put in all my corners which there's about, oh, I think I came up with 12 corners. They're all going to be wooden posts. Um, and I'm going to, I, I was debating on it if I wanted to go two strand or three strand. I think I am gonna go three. So pop your comments below what you guys do for three strand for heights. You can look online, I know. They say sometimes 10, 20, and then like 36 or something. Because that will, when I get the beef cattle, I plan on, you know, they'll be a lot taller. And then hopefully, after I get these beef cattle for a couple of years, I may consider buying um, pairs, two pairs to start. Just have two, two, um, two or three pairs, and that would be probably three or four years down the road right around the time I'm looking at transitioning over to bigger acres. So that's kind of my outlook. As you know, it can change by the minute, but that's what we're going with. Um, been having a tough time keeping up with you guys' videos. It's been busy. I've been helping my buddy Homanor. He's calving. Um, he lost three calves so far this year. They were a month early. So, and then he's now having a lot of luck. So. That's kind of been my my big weekend adventures. So, hope everyone's doing well. Um, hopefully, spring is here before isn't or is here before too long, and we can start getting some haying done because I'm looking forward to this year. If I get lots of acres, it could be a busy year. And with having a hay market that I can sell my hay directly out of the field, that will be even better. So. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, got any comments, suggestions for me? I'm always open to them. I like, I like this community, getting to know people. It's been very fun. Um, and I'm wondering, just, I guess my biggest questions are, what are you guys running for your, um, where to put your wires at for your high tensile? And I'm also debating on, is a five mile fencer good enough? I know, I know I should go with 30, but probably when I sell this property, I'm going to sell everything that you can see, and I will sell it as one whole. Probably ask for, it should give me more commission too, which it will increase property value. So, um, yeah, just nice suggestions on that. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. See ya.